on the anniversary of that day when Christ our Lord conferred his priesthood on his apostles and on you and me. Are you resolved to renew in the presence of your bishop and God's holy people the promises you once made? Amen. Are you resolved to be more united with the Lord Jesus and more closely conform to him, denying yourselves in confirming those promises about sacred duties towards Christ's church, which prompted by love of him, you willingly and joyfully pledge on the day of your priestly ordination. Amen. Are you resolved to be faithful stewards of the mysteries of God in the Holy Eucharist and the other liturgical rites, and to discharge faithfully the sacred office of teaching, following Christ the head and shepherd, not seeking any gain, but moved only by zeal for soul. Are you, dearest sisters and brothers who are gathered here, are you resolved to pray for your priests that the Lord may pour out his gifts abundantly upon them and keep them faithful as ministers of Christ the High Priest, so that they may lead you to him who is the source of salvation? Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. And I also ask that you pray for me, that I may be faithful to the apostolic office entrusted to me in my loveliness, and that in your midst I may be made day by day a living and more perfect image of Christ, the priest, the good shepherd, the teacher, and the servant of all. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. May the Lord keep us all in his charity and lead all of us, shepherds and flock, to eternal life. Amen. May I ask you to stay? Now, my sisters and brothers, we will have the presentation of the order.
breathes in us grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen.
make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and be of it, for this is my body, which will be given up.
this rich gift, this fruit of the earth. Bless this oil and sanctify it for our use. Make this oil a remedy for all who are anointed with it. Heal them in body, in soul, and in spirit, and deliver them from every affliction. For we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. For whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, you fill them with life, you bless them, and bestow them upon you. Thank you. 